Yeah, Kim Porter was found this morning in bed unresponsive in the upstairs bedroom of this Toluca Lake home. She was an actress and model, but was, was perhaps best known for her relationship with Sean Diddy Combs. Uh, Millions of people are mourning the death of Kim Porter. Reportedly, she had pneumonia. And if y'all didn't know, your boy is a former respiratory therapist. So, you know, that type of thing is near and dear to my heart. She motivated a lot of people, especially during a time when all you seen modeling was light-skinned girls. She had the chocolate girls motivated. We're going to cover her story right now in this video. That's good, YouTube. You're in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host of the Life Games channel. And if this is your first time finding me, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on that notification bell so you're down every time we drop these Life Games videos. And as we always do with every video to review it, we got to put on the plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell. Because we're working on skilling up our craft. Giving you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Um, I don't have a sponsor for today, but I would like for you guys to click in the video description, sign up for the Life Games free email list whenever I have various content that people give me, um, boxes, whatever I have, I'll pass them out via my email. There's also a way you can contact me. And also subscribe to my Life Games fitness channel video description. Kim Porter was P. Diddy's ex-wife. They had three kids. She also had one child by Al B. Shore, another R&B singer from back in the day. And they found her dead in her home recently, just the other day. And what we like to do on these videos is we try to figure out what is the life gain that can be taken away. So take a look at this news clip and we'll come back and talk about what life gains can be made from this situation. Uh, just about a half hour ago, we saw an LA County coroner's van leaving the property here uh, with her body inside, uh, taking it to the coroner's office. We're told by the LAPD that they don't know a cause of death. At this point, it is still undetermined, but they don't believe there was any foul play involved. They say a doctor spoke with them who said she had been feeling ill for the last week. Although uh, there is an investigation at the coroner's office that will be underway now, there will be an autopsy performed and they will be in communication with the LAPD's Homicide Bureau to determine what exactly happened here. Now, Combs, 47 years old, was an actress and a model. The two, uh, she and Sean Diddy Combs dated in the late 90s and 2000s. They had three kids together and she had a, a child from an earlier relationship that was involved in uh, Combs' life as, as, uh, as well. The LAPD tells us that uh, Sean Combs was here on property. He was very upset. We don't know if he was here this morning when her body was recovered. We don't know if their kids were here when the body was discovered, but they too were here at some point while the coroner's van was here and this investigation got underway. Here's a little bit of what uh, an LAPD detective told us less than an hour ago. Mr. Combs was extremely cooperative and obviously very upset. Um, we had basic questions uh, for him for, uh, for us to be able to conduct our investigation. Having seen that, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk a little bit about pneumonia. And I'm wishing her family well. You've seen on social media where a lot of people have wished her and Diddy well from the likes of 50 Cent, who don't really care for Diddy, who's very petty, but he wished her well. And pneumonia is not something to play with. Now, if you're from the hood or you had an old school big mama, they would tell you, don't go outside when it's cold without a jacket or don't go outside when it's cold and you're wet or you're going to catch pneumonia. That's not necessarily true. But what is true is that pneumonia comes in many forms. It can be from a fungus. It can be from bacteria. And let's take a look at the clinical definition of pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both of the lungs. Those are called alveoli. And it pursues with pus, fluid, and it can be very, very sickening. You lose your breath. And oftentimes they wind up calling in people like me or RT to do percussive therapy, to do some changing therapy. We'll have you laying face down trying to get that stuff out of you. But nowadays, 
you can get pneumonia treated with a vaccine. It doesn't cover all of them, but it does help. Pneumonia used to be a death sentence way back in the day. That's why probably so many people put an emphasis on it. Nowadays, if you get your treatment done, it's not as much of a death sentence, but I'm thinking for Kim Porter, who the report saying that she had been dealing with this for a while, that um, this might be what has preempted her death. And we're all very sorry, but the life gain that I want you guys to take away from this video is that don't play with it. If you get diagnosed with pneumonia and you start feeling better, finish out your medicine. Continue going back to the doctor for follow-up because you just never know. And as the story unfolds with Kim Porter, we'll keep looking for more evidence. Maybe the, when the autopsy come back, I'll do a follow-up video on what they will say is her real um, cause of death. But I want the life game for you all to take away. If you get pneumonia, don't play with it. Take all your medicine, follow up with your doctor, and just love each other each and every day as if it is your last day. And that's going to be your life game for today. Um, I'm wishing Diddy family well. I'm wishing her kids well. And everybody that loved Kim Porter, we're wishing them all well. That is your life game for today. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.